If you are a teenager in the US or a parent and want to know if the grass is greener here in Germany, then sit back, put your feet up, because I'm going to answer all of the questions that you may have about what teenagers can do here in Germany that they can't do in the United States of America. Now, Germany has some fantastic things to offer everyone, be it from children all the way up to old age people. Now, I'm super certain that there are places and parts of America that offer all of these things too. For that reason, I'm not here to compare which one's better or worse. I'm simply just making a video about the things that you can do here in Germany that you can't do in America. I would be really interested to know which advantages you believe that youngsters have in America that you don't think that they have here in Germany. As I said, this video is here to highlight which possibilities youngsters have in Germany, which can then assist them to have a secure and prosperous future. I was born and raised in the southeast of England and I went to a very respectable school in my local area. Students travelled from all over the local area and a little bit further, be it on the train system or with school buses, or they also walked to school with their friends rather than their parents. It was mandatory in my school then and still today that everyone had to wear black shoes, black socks, black trousers, black blazer, white shirt. Then they wore a tie that had different colours based upon which house they were in the school. Now it isn't exactly Harry Potter or what you're thinking but take away the wands, the spells and also then the broomsticks and you're not far off how it is. Anyway that's enough for talking about my school life 30 years ago. Let's more talk about the life that my son has or other teenagers have here in Germany. As per normal like any video that I make it's now time to obviously welcome all of my new subscribers and say a big thank you to everyone for all the support that you've been giving me over the past weeks and months. It is so fantastic so please keep it up. On that note if you do have any other ideas or topics that you think I should talk about on my channel then go ahead and tell me a topic that you think I should talk about. Now that we've got that all out of the way let's talk about the first thing that youngsters can do here in Germany that you can't do in the United States of America. My name's David Thorne this is David's videos and I wish the editor of this video would actually start the video please so let's go. Now we shouldn't have to talk about this topic because it's super sad and it's not something that anyone should be linking together. Students in Germany or pupils in Germany or basically anyone in Germany doesn't have to be scared that there are other people walking around with weapons, machine guns, assault rifles or anything like that. The last place that you should expect anyone to have some form of weapon is at school. And German schools or kindergartens or universities do not have metal detectors, do not have people checking whether or not you've got any assault rifles or any pistols or shotguns. This does not happen. This is definitely one thing that teenagers here in Germany can have, is the thought that they are going to school with no weapons. And I don't think you can say this about America. What are your thoughts on this? Most children in the United States of America will have English or American English as their first language. Now here in Germany and also in the UK, when you do go to school, you will be forced to learn another language, meaning that German will be their first language, they will learn English and they will also be forced to learn another language, be it French or Spanish. Now all around here in Germany, people want to be able to speak the English language because they want to be able to understand different films and phrases and sayings and so on. But at least knowing that your children will go to school having a good fundamental knowledge of the English language and also other languages as well is a really positive thing. But generally on a whole here in Germany all children will be bilingual. Now I'm not sure all children in America will actually be bilingual. Now this is another thing that basically all teenagers and most people here in Germany can do is they can speak a second language. Can that be said for everyone in America? I'm not too sure but I'm really interested to know your feedback. Now Germany is a very safe place. So this is another thing that lots of teenagers in big cities and towns can definitely have here in Germany is the thought that they know that they are safe. Can every child in the United States of America know that they are safe regardless of what time they go out and where they go? Now if they do have the thoughts that people are permitted to carry weapons around with them all the time, is that a good place for children to be or is that a good place for children to be brought up? I don't think it is. Now the one thing that every single person, especially children and teenagers have in Germany is the right to know that their streets are safe and the right to know that there are no weapons on the street and no one is permitted to walk around with any weapons. With this said, it means that children can be free to go and play in the parks or on the football fields, knowing that no one else is carrying any weapons around them and knowing that they, no one is permitted to carry weapons around them. This on a whole is a fantastic thing about Germany and also most of Europe that no one is permitted to walk around on the streets with assault rifles like you see in America over the past couple of months. Now in my opinion, no person in the world should be permitted to carry any weapon on the street 
whatsoever at any time. And that includes police officers too. Moving on to a bit of a lighter note now. So something which the United States of America just doesn't have that we have here in Europe is our history and is our heritage. Now our history goes back a lot further than what it does in America and you definitely can't blame America for this. Teenagers and youngsters in America seeing some of the wonders that you have there just are missing out on what we have on a daily basis here. We have houses here in Germany or in the United Kingdom that you can walk by every day that are older than anything that you have in America. Now there are many castles, monuments, palaces, gardens and all sorts of different things that you come and visit here in Germany. Now me being born and raised in the United Kingdom and not far from London has always given me the opportunity to see old monuments and old castles and so on. And this is something that I really feel sad about for youths and teenagers in America. So make sure you take this opportunity in the future to come to Europe to see some of these wonders because it will allow you to see some of the nicest things that you can possibly see about how we used to live more than a thousand years ago. Now there are many more topics that we could talk about, but I believe that there is one more thing that is the ultimate thing that all teenagers or youngsters in America are really missing out on and what they could really benefit from by moving to Germany, if that was possible. But before we move on to that, I wanna just discuss a couple of other things that are real big benefits of living here in Germany, which family have in order to support their children. Now these points I'm gonna quickly go over because otherwise the video would just get too long. But the one thing that families do have here in Germany or mothers have should we say if they're separated from their father or they're a single parent is the welfare system. Germany provides all families with support for each child and every single child they get they get kindergeld and they also get support. It doesn't matter how many children they have they will always receive money per month for each child. And they can also deduct a lot of cost off their taxes and so on. Germany on a whole supports all of their family for their children to make sure they have enough money to buy all of the clothing and the books and the essentials that the children need. Now I've talked about this in many other videos but Germany does have a mandatory health system which means every single person living here in Germany is covered by a health insurance. Now we don't need to go into this topic any further because it just basically means that a parent can take their children to a hospital or a doctor or whoever they need to if that child is sick or needs any care and attention. So this is one thing that you can find here in Germany that you can't find everywhere in America based on which job you do. You will always have a healthcare system here in Germany to look after your children and you will always have that same healthcare system no matter what age you are here in Germany. So someone is always looking after you. Now the educational system here in Germany is really good for youngsters and teenagers because it tries to funnel the children, it tries to point them in the direction of the job that they actually want to do from around about 13, 14 years old. Now on that note of education, if a child does decide that they want to be a lawyer or a doctor, or an architect or something which requires a diploma or them going to university for, the universities here in Germany are for free. Now just based upon watching a few Netflix series or something like that, you hear people talking about their university costs being hundreds of thousands. This is not going to happen here in Germany. Now anyone can travel from anywhere in the world and essentially come here and study in a German university and for a minimal cost. The German system encourages that people have an education. They encourage that they have diplomas so they can be professionals. Germany wants to make sure they have a stable future for their country and they do this through their educational system and their social system. So this is something that you definitely don't have in America that teenagers definitely have here in Germany. Now the educational system and the universities in Germany are the foundation for the future of this one country. And if the United States of America could change their system to allow everyone to have an education, this would be fair. Now it seems like in 2021, only the rich people in America can actually have an education. This is unfair and is something that definitely needs to change. Now taking the weapons off the street in America and making it mandatory that every single person has health insurance in America. And thirdly, making sure that every single child in America has the right to go to university and it is affordable for them too as well, would definitely put the United States of America 
back on the map again to being great. At this one point in time, it doesn't seem as great as other countries in the world because you are still in infancy, the things that we have here in Germany. So I would really say to people in America, whether they are red or whether they are blue, start looking at how we do our systems here in Europe because here in Europe, we all abide by the same laws. This is my opinion about how America could be great again. And I don't think over the past four to five years, it has gone in the right direction. And that is kind of being proven about how it is right now. And I really hope that Joe Biden can clean this mess up that you currently have at the moment. My heart really does go out to all of you who've been living through this for the past four to five years. Hopefully this can change right now. With that said, please think about giving this video a thumbs up. Now I absolutely love making these videos and the reason for this video is I want to try and widen my audience to the United States of America. Now it seems at the moment that all of my videos only seem to be being shown to people here in Germany. I've contacted YouTube directly about this and they have said we'll make content about the United States of America. Now if you did like the content of this video and you want me to make more topics about Germany compared to the US, then go ahead and give me some things to talk about in the comments down below. I don't live in America, I don't know your points on it, but if you wanna give me some form of verses or comparison ideas to do, then go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. Otherwise, if you do wanna see more videos on my channel, then I'll leave a link in the video description below. I do make a whole different range of videos, so if you do see some videos about programming or about football or other topics, then just scroll by, and if you see a video that you like, then click on it and watch it. So if you do feel that you wanna hit that subscribe button, then tap it now and also tap the notification bell if you wanna be notified when I next release any video. That's the end of the video now. There's a video on the screen which I think you might enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. My name's David Thorne. You've been watching David's videos. Stay safe and goodbye.